Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So excited to have you guys join me because today I woke up just feeling so refreshed and revived and just happy. This week is pretty much tough. I was pretty much just like healing my foot, keeping it elevated, you know, and just trying to stay off it. So as a result, I didn't really vlog too much and I really wasn't in the mood to really vlog and I definitely don't like to vlog when I'm kind of feeling that way because it really shows on camera. I'm a lot better now. It's Saturday. I woke up feeling so like ready to get back in the swing of things and we're gonna go spend the day in the city today for the most part. I have a bunch of things going on. I'm going to the city and like walk around. Um, then I have brunch plans. Then at seven, I have plans again. So just gonna be a full day just like out and stuff. So I'm excited to take you guys with me, get out the house, get some fresh air, excited. Um, but before we jump right in, this video is in partnership with Yes Style. So a really big thanks to them for partnering with me today on this video. They sent me a bunch of different pieces as well as some denim that I really want to show you guys how I style. I love denim. I wear it all the time. I'm such a white tee and jeans kind of girl. You guys know this, this is nothing new. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple ways like how I like to style my denim. And then you're gonna come back and meet me right here. So go and enjoy the denim styling portion in collaboration with Yes Style. And a huge thanks again again for partnering with me today on this video, so. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So to start off this week's vlog, I wanted to show you guys how I style my denim pants from Yes Style. I received three pairs, two in this medium blue shade and one in brown. So I'm gonna show you guys all the items that I'm going to be pairing with my denim to style them. I have this pair of Cognac sandal heels, this black pair of heels from Steve Madden, and my Saluto sneakers, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So to accessorize, I'm going to be using sunglasses, and these are from Desi. You guys know how I feel about sunnies. And for purses, I'm going to be using four different bags, my mini pochette. These two cross body bags are from Yes Style as well. They have really good accessories. And then my mini Antigona. Then we're gonna also be pairing some looks with hats. Love me some hats. So the very first pair I'm gonna start styling is this Astonishing Power Denim Jeans in this medium blue shade. A very standard pair of jeans, very basic and easy to work with. For this look, I decided to pair it with a plain white t-shirt. This is probably one of my go-to casual looks, just a plain white tee and jeans. And you can wear this with sneakers and or heels. This is me adding a blazer as well as a pair of sunglasses and my Givenchy bag. This is just like such a very chic, casual look. It looks really put together and just such a very easy outfit to be honest. I love this look. It's my go-to whenever I'm just like, I don't know what to wear. Easy. For a nighttime look, simply just take off the sneakers and throw in a pair of black sandal heels and there you have it. An evening look. Easy. I also picked up these really cute flowy tops from YesStyle as well. I thought they'd be perfect for like the summer spring season. They're so lightweight and simple. And I typically don't wear shirts like this, but I really do like them. They're so girly and femme. So this is just basically a floral top with a little tie thing. I also got one in white and I thought these were so cute and I paired them with hats. Next pair of jeans I have for you was actually a little bit out of my element. It had this like weird blue patch at the buttocks area, but I decided that you know what, it's kind of trendy and cool and definitely out of my element, but I decided to pair this with a black turtleneck as well as the crossbody bag from Yes Style. And I'm thinking like a long coat would look really, really nice, but never seen anything like this that I thought was very unique, but this is pretty much how I styled this one. The final pair of denim I have is this brown pair and I'm definitely going to be invested in colored denim moving forward because it really takes the casualness out of it and makes it so much more dressy. This is me pairing it with a silk shirt and my Louis Vuitton headscarf and this was just such a nice grown look. I really like it. I would totally wear this to the office. So that's pretty much it for my denim styling portion. All right, welcome back. So. Let's talk about today's outfit. I'm actually going to be showing you guys something that I even wore in the video. So it's going to be this white tee. And this white t-shirt is from Aritzia. It's from the 
Babaton line. I love this t-shirt so much. It's like really, it's like really short, like kind of, kind of like crop, but not really a really great fit. But I wanted to tuck it today for more of a, you know, like a clean look. Um, I really like how this looks. And um, I'm wearing these jeans as well. These are from the Denim Forum. These are from Aritzia, I think. And then to wear with this today, I'm gonna be wearing my loose um, trench coat here. This is from Aritzia as well. It's from the Babaton line. Um, I got it in an extra, an extra small because it is quite oversized. So it can be pretty large, but this is basically what the outfit's gonna look like. I was thinking of either bringing my new coach bag, like this one, today but i don't know if i want to bring this bag to be honest i kind of want something a little bit more like free spirited so i might bring like my alma bb and then i'm gonna wear like slip from sneakers either my rothy's or like my saludos but that's pretty much it for the outfit for today i have to still fix my hair a little bit so let's go get that styled by the way, you guys, this is a straightener I use. It's by Duval. It's a really good straightener. Um, it's very um, easy to like deal with. Let me move this. Okay. Now I'm gonna pack my bag, you guys. I'm gonna bring my Alma BB today. I'm gonna bring my wallet. Bring a travel size deodorant and my Hermes Le Jardin. Something, something. When you wear white a lot, this is essential. Let me take my vitamins. Okay, guys, so this is the outfit in full. I just decided to like pin up my hair in a little messy bun right now because. Um, I put a little clip because it's so hot in my room and the hair is just frustrating me because it's not curling right. So I'm just going to wear it like this for now. Maybe throughout the day I'll feel differently and change it. But yeah, this is basically the outfit for right now. See, I'm barely even out of the house yet and I have to use my Tide. Um, I'm a mess. I'm literally a mess. If I turn the camera this way, you can see me a lot better, but it's just gonna be like really awkward. Alrighty guys, made it to the train station. I ran to Starbucks really quickly. It was literally so, like, it took forever to get the drink. I was kind of concerned that I was gonna miss my train, but um, I made it in time, because the train still isn't here. Got a grande iced coffee, black, with the classic syrup. Um, I'm trying not to have as much milk anymore, if I can help it, so yeah. Waiting for the train to come now. It should be here in like two minutes or less. I'm just gonna go to the corridor now and I'll catch you guys when we're on the train heading to, you know. So yeah, my bag is also super stuffed. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like I packed everything that I could possibly fit, but yeah, let me go.
Hey guys, so I made it to the city. I'm literally still right by Penn Station. I'm on like 8th and 33rd. Hudson Yards is like straight that way. Like it's just like one stretch down. So that's where I'm walking to right now. The light's coming from the back, but um, I'm feeling so bold. I'm like vlogging in public, no problems at all. That's how great of a mood I'm in. Like I don't even care. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to put my mask on soon though because I can see that there's a bunch of people like walking down towards me a little bit. Where's this place? This is the, uh, oh, this is like where the Amtrak train is. Never been over here. Anyways, I think my friend might be there already. So, um, well, we're supposed to meet at noon and it's 11.52, so I'm not like late or anything. So sorry, the lighting is just not great because the sun is like, on top of my head. Um, it's a lot of people on the stretch. But um, I'm about like 10 minutes away, I think, so I'm not really sure. I believe it's like straight ahead and then a right. So that's what I'm doing right now. I also know what's funny, you guys. When I vlog in New York, like no one looks at me like weird. They just mind their business. That's why I don't mind vlogging here alone. In New Jersey, they'll be like this the whole time. <laughs> so that's pretty much what we're doing. So that's pretty much the difference with vlogging here versus like New Jersey. So um, yeah, about like a 10 minute walk left and we are pretty much good to go. So let me go, let me put my mask. Welcome back, today is actually Wednesday. I just got home from Target. And if you guys haven't seen this bag before, it's my Zara slouch little cross body bag. This bag kind of annoys me at times because it's just so chaotic. Because it's slouchy, it's like a very like lazy bag. So this is what it looks like. It's just, this bag is very, very cute. If it had a little bit more structure, it would absolutely be like my favorite purse ever. But I wonder if I can buy like a little organizer for it. That'd be really cool. Because it's like, it's actually a pretty cute bag. It has a very long strap. So the strap is very long or you can shorten it and wear it as like a shoulder bag. So it's really, really nice. And I love the pattern and the leather pleather thingy so it's pretty nice but i went to target so i thought i'd do a little target haul because i think i got some really good stuff i went to target because i really wanted to read up on some hygiene products and i do get a lot of questions about like my hygiene routine the products i use and all the kind of stuff so i thought i'd make this video and i'm also going to be filming a shower routine slash hygiene routine very soon so stay tuned for that but for now i'm going to show you guys what i got at target okay so let's get started shall we so the first thing I want to share with you guys is this Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. Um, it just makes your skin really soft after you've shaved and I use this on my legs and under my arms, of course. The so the next thing I have here is this Method Body Wash. This is my second time purchasing this um, wash. I do quite like it. It's peony, rose water, and pink sea salt and this is categorized as pure peace. So the reason why I like it so much is because it has like a very um, soothing smell. It smells like rose water and you definitely get that sea salt and peony smell and it's just very soothing to me and I love the smell of rose a lot so I really do like it and it's in this cute little bottle. So I got this and this is what I use to shower with like if I wanted to use a body wash that day. I kind of go between a bar soap and a body wash so yeah or sometimes I even use both when I want to be extra extra in the shower then I got this Dove exfoliating body polish I am a huge fan of these body polishes because because they really get in there like they re it feels like little salt things on your skin and it really exfoliates like really really well this is the 
moderate strength so it's not like too soft and it's not too rough so I use this all over particularly focusing on like my elbows and my knees because they need <laughs> the extra attention so this is in the scent pomegranate seeds and shea butter and it's very moisturizing as well so really do like this and if I'm not using like a natural sugar scrub to scrub i usually use in this so i'm happy that i got another one because i've been wanting it what i have here is this hey humans naturally derived body lotion in lavender and vanilla now this is a nourishing and moisturizing with shea butter body lotion this is my first time using this particular brand i've never used this brand before but it's um it seems like it's really like it's a natural product and I feel like my skin reacts better to moisture when it's like a natural product. So I'm excited. And the the packaging is like in this like aluminum like kind of tray. Um, I'm just going to try it really quickly. Um, what else I got in here? I got this Caress um, soap thing. And this is in the scent Daily Silk. So that's what it looks like the caress daily silk bar soap now these smell absolutely amazing and they stay on your skin even after you've showered so i do like these and i love the caress brand a lot i'm not gonna lie i do like it typically i get a different scent but they were out of this entire line so i just grabbed what i could get because i'm not really too picky you know then i got some chapstick i got some carmex comfort care lip balm with oatmeal and i got this one to try it out because i've never seen this kind of car mix before and then i just got the classic one to kind of just throw in every purse i own because my lips have been going through it lately i also got this lint roller it's in this very cute sleek packaging so i decided to pick this up and then i got some travel size spray on deodorant i use natural deodorant from native now that's what i've been using for a long time for many many months but i do like to have these little spray on ones for my bag just in case i need to like freshen up during the day or something i do love these dry sprays especially now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer i like to have backup just in case and then i do have this travel size body wash um, I usually always keep travel size products on hand to put in my toiletry bag because I hate having to like go get these things whenever I'm going anywhere so I like to just have this and then I just got a quip toothbrush refill for my toothbrush next things I have is this tea tree and spare mint candle I'm gonna be having a little spa day here at home some self-care um, very much overdue for me so I'm gonna do a little self care. So I wanted some candles to just burn. This one is like a giant candle. I've never bought a candle like this before, but it's in the scent soft cotton. It's a very light smell. And then I just got this little holder thing for it to sit on because yeah, I need to do some self care. And I just wanna, it's gonna be a long self care day. Okay, I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna really focus on myself, some TLC. And I also got a little loofah because I miss using these. I use a washcloth now, but I definitely miss the loofah. So yeah. On the topic of self-care, I decided to pick up a journal because I have not been journaling and I need to get back into that like stat. So I got this journal here and it has like the eye on here, which isn't on purpose. It's just like literally the only book that was really calling my name and then i also got a a planner one that i would actually use this time because i typically buy planners in this size and they're just not practical enough for me so i got this giant giant planner here and it's just a monthly planner and it just has like the regular planner stuff the days the month the holidays and stuff and it has a lot of note taking section they kind of match each other so i thought that was cool and i also got a pack of pens so i can keep um, them together and then what else i have oh then i just got some undies and stuff i was feeling inspired by spring so i got a couple undies i was trying to find a 
matching bra but <laughs> target never has matching anything so i just got this underwear here so it's beautiful olivey green color i thought it was so gorgeous and i was able to find a bra in the exact same color which i'm so excited about i love finding matching sets this bra was only $16.99 and i actually have two more like this and i love them um i did get a different size though because i feel like they didn't have my exact size. I have to try it on. I think I got a 34 double D when my bra size is a 32 double D. So um, it shouldn't be that much of a difference anyways. But yeah, got this and I love these. I love that color a lot. I also found this like blue panties and I would love to find a bra in this. But they didn't have any. And then I just got this pink one. It's like a really cute like mesh and something. Then I got this really cute yellow one. So I don't really wear a lot of color on the exterior, you guys. But I really love colorful undies because it just makes me feel so like happy. But guys happy friday it's about 12 37 p.m right now you guys saw me earlier i went to the er to get my foot checked out to get an x-ray um he did say that he doesn't see anything wrong thank god because i was starting to think that i probably broke a bone or fractured something but no fractures no broken bones or anything he just says that the pain that i'm continuously feeling is just um just a reaction from the fact that i'm just actively just doing too much on the foot when it needs to heal so he recommends just like icing and um just you know staying off of it and keeping my foot elevated at night um yeah today is friday and i'm just I'm, i have decided to dedicate the day to cleaning because this weekend i plan on doing a lot of filming and i just want to make sure that my room is like in tip-top shape clean and i also just want to clean too because there's just like so much stuff that i just need to pick up and just straighten up so i'm gonna clean and also like do like a big declutter um whenever spring comes or summer like cooler 
um, like warmer weather I just feel like inspired to just like really go through my clothes and just yeah so I'm gonna be a dupe so I'm going to be doing a really big declutter as well um, make my bed um, there's just a mess everywhere and I also have two loads of laundry going darks and whites so